Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am probably more excited about this video than I have been about a video in a very long time. Challenges are back in the beauty community, which is something that I feel like has disappeared a lot. I remember doing tags and challenges and things like that all the time and they just haven't been around. And now one is, I'm sure you guys have all seen it, it is the full face highlighter challenge that has been doing the rounds. It was started by one very clever girl who did pretty much what we've all always wanted to do, which is just slap a whole bunch of highlight and illuminating products all over her face. And it was glorious. So I have all my highlighters here. I pulled out what I could. I pulled out some glitter as well. Maybe I'll use that, maybe I won't, but we're just, we're gonna start slapping the product. I really can't wait for this. I don't know why it's so exciting, but for me it is. We're gonna get our glow on from the base. I'm gonna make a hybrid concoction of stuff here. I have the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid Illuminator. This one is in the shade Opal, so I'm gonna do a smidgen of that. The L'Oreal Lumi Magique uh, Base Pure Light Primer. A little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Wonder Glow. Little bit. This is actually going to be way too much product for my face, but oh well. I am going to pop a little bit of my Cover Effects Custom Cover Drops just to get a little bit of coverage because I don't want my pimples and stuff showing through in my beautiful glowiness. You know, is that a word? Anyway, a little bit of that Chanel tint light revealing brightening makeup base. Whatever this is, isn't that that just looks like so much fun? I feel like a scientist. Okay, mixing it all together on the face. Ooh, I like this. I feel like I could just do this all the time. If we made it a thing and made it common, people wouldn't think it'd be weird if your face was just super shiny all the time. And the world would be such a beautiful place. Everyone would be beaming off haters and we'd all be glowy all the time. You know what, I feel like we can up the intensity of this base. So I'm gonna just go in a little bit more of that Becca Opal highlighter. I think to warm up the complexion a little bit, I'm gonna try a little bit of Benefits Sunbeam. I haven't used this in quite a while, but pop this kind of where I would do a bit of bronzing. In the nose, why not? We've got a bit of a tan going on. Tamp that up even more. I'm going to use a little bit of Benefits Do the Hula. Technically kind of a bronzing product, but to be honest, it is, it is, it's glowy. It's the word that I'm looking for. You go with a big duo fiber brush. Just put this everywhere bringing it down the neck too because the glow should not be just contained to the face. Neck, decolletage, collarbones, it all deserves the opportunity to shine. We're going to bring some light to the center of the face. I'm going to use a little bit of this Ula Lift from Benefit. I have a little sample size here. Eyes, nose, Ooh, goodness. I did not think about my working space when I pulled out all my highlighters. I have too much highlighters and not enough bench space. Oh no, that is nowhere near enough lightness. Let's let's amp it up even more with the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in, I think this is the Pearl Liquid. Yes, I love it. That's what I'm talking about. Is anybody counting as to how many? highlighters I've used thus far, I feel like I'm going to need to go back through everything and count them all. It's got to be at least 10 by now, surely. Ah, so much glow and illumination. I feel like I'm just beaming. I'm just trying to stick to all my cream products first before we really like amp it up with the powder products. I have the Luna uh, Cream Color Base from MAC here. Love this one. It is an intense white. Tapping this on the cheekbones, a little bit on the brow bone for a highlight, why not? I never get to use this anywhere near enough because I feel like it's so white and I just am not game enough to use it. Whereas now, perfect. I think while I'm at it, I'm also going to use a little bit of the Shell Cream Color Base from MAC just on the cheeks to start with a little bit of blush coming going on there. 
Oh, while we're still on the cream, I cannot forget one of my favorite cream highlights, Benefits What's Up. You know what, I'm just gonna put this just straight up on the cheekbone, because why not? Maybe a little bit above the brow. Let's work on the eyes for a little bit. I feel like they're, they're missing out. I'm gonna use Essence So Glow Cream to Powder Highlight as a bit of a base to get it started off with. For a general day-to-day -day tutorial, don't necessarily recommend this as an eyeshadow base, but for this challenge, this color is epic. I really like it. The perfect palette to not only highlight the face, but the eyes is the Natural Nudes Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips. I'm going to start with some of these deeper shades towards the bottom here and run these through the crease for some definition. Whoa. Nice and deep and glowy. Across the lid, I'm going to take a little bit more of these lighter shades. This on the inner half. I'm going to take a little bit of my Chanel Fantasme, Fantasme uh, Illusion Dom. I rarely get to use this, but I love it because it just makes me think of adult glitter. I'm just going to pop this right in the center of the eyelid. Then I'm going to cheat and add a little bit of definition with some liquid liner. Every time I do eyeliner, I would almost swear that one of my eyes sits higher than the other, but we're just going to leave it as is and go in with some mascara. This is the Sephora Outrageous Curl. Love, love, love this stuff. I don't think the waterline should miss out on glow either, so I'm going to take this Zoeva Graphic Eyes Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Myth, I believe. Pearlescent and beautiful. Open up the eyes, make them glowy too. Wow, this is really pigmented. Nice work, Zoeva. So I feel like we need to set the rest of this gloriousness before it, it starts melting off my face. I'm going to set the face with my Laura Mercier Matte Blaked Highlight 01 or whatever it's called. If I can find a brush, I'm going to start with this. Because honest, every time I see this, I've always wanted to just go, what would it be like if I just put it all over my face? And now I can. I feel like this is probably the least intense so we can build up intensity. We're going to layer the highlight like we haven't been already, but we're going to, we're going to up the ante. We're going to really make you be able to see this, this face from space. So that was that one. I'm going to go in with a little bit of... Ooh, what is this? You know what? In this kind of tutorial, you can't go past Becca Champagne Pop. I'm going to put a bit of this on the cheeks. Start. Oh my goodness, look at that glow. I know I'm working all over the place, but blush. Now, one of the glowiest blushes you can probably get is this one here in the Zoeva Rose Golden Blushing Palette, I think this is. Look at this. So, so pretty. To bronze up the skin even more, I've got the Positions Formula Shimmer Strips in Waikiki. I'm going to use the more sort of bronzy end of this. Kind of contour a little bit. Oh my goodness, I keep on knocking everything. <laughs> We try contouring the nose. I don't know if that's even possible at this point, but you can give it a crack. Front of the eyes, I'm going to start with an actual matte highlight. I know, heaven forbid, but this is a white highlight from Shiseido. It's the WT905. So I'm going to start with this as the base to really lighten the area up. If I can find a, a brush, here we go. Set one. Under eye business. Then we are not done there. I'm going to go in over the top of that with the Hourglass Incandescent Strobe Light Powder. I'm 
then you know what, just because we can, I'm going to use a little bit of this eyeshadow from uh, the Optic White Number 000 Eye Color Wet and Dry Glow Shadow from Burberry. And you know what, I'm going to put this on the inner corner, but I think I'm going to actually wet it because it does say wet and dry. And you know what, I feel like we haven't done enough spritzing in this video. So a little bit Max Fix Plus. Inner corner. Wow. That is so pretty. To get the cheekbones to really pop, I'm going to start off with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Starlight Illuminator. I can find my brush. And then to really, you know what, really make that pop. I think my most intense highlight, if I can find it here in front of me, has to be the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfecta in Pearl. Oh my goodness. I finally understand the term, this gives me life. I rarely ever use that, I always hear people use it, but this is just... Uh, try a little nose highlight, because you know what, this is all about trying new things. At this point I feel like I've used a lot of highlight, but I don't know if I've quite gotten enough. So I have the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated in Aurora here. This stuff is glittery. And I'm going to take a big fluffy, fluffy brush, fluffy brush, fluffy brush, and I'm going to bring this one just down the neck a little bit. You know what, if I can expose my collarbones, it's going to go there. This stuff is just like glitter. Whoa, it's just going everywhere. Look, I don't think the camera's gonna pick that up, but in real life, this stuff is amazing. I kind of just want to put it a little bit all over my face too. <laughs> At this point, I think I've just <laughs> lost the plot a little bit. I haven't tried glitter brows before, even though I've admired them from afar. And to be honest, if I'm ever gonna try it, it's in this video that it works perfectly. So, a little bit of brow gel. And I've got a gorgeous cosmetics glitter here in Color Flash Oscar. You're gonna see. How it goes, Oh. To be honest, it's going all over my face more than it's going in my brows, but that's okay. I like it. Okay, for lips, I'm going to start off with the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Lolita. I know it's matte, but don't worry, we're going to bling it up. Topping it with the Napoleon Purtis Luminous Lip Veil in the Gold and the Beautiful. Then going in with a little bit of Moonstone from Becca. Right in the center. Then last but by no means least, a little bit of the Makeup Store Angel Dust, I believe it's called, Eye Dust in Angel. So I have made a mess, a big mess, but I feel like I've never felt so pretty before. This must be what it's like when a princess has her makeup done for a wedding day or something like that. I am glowing, I'm lit within, I'm lit from without, I'm without, that's not the right word, but I'm just, I'm just lit is basically what I am at this point. I think I used 29 products. Oh my goodness, you know what? I didn't use the Balms Mary Luminizer, and this has been, this was like my first introduction, really, to highlight. So you know what? Bit of this, tops of the cheekbones. It's so intense. You know what? Maybe I should use my finger. The most intense application of this. Okay, I retract that statement. I have used 30 different illuminating, glowy, glittery products and I love the way the makeup turned out. I'm probably gonna have to wipe this all off my face because if the postman comes, he's gonna get a little bit of a fright when I answer the door. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I challenge you to cover your face in glowy, illuminating products and see how many you can get on. Can you beat 30 different products on your face? 
let me know in the comments below. Give it a shot. Send me a photo on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, or leave a link to your video if you've done this challenge in the comments below. I would love to see it. And other than that, I hope you guys are doing really well. My name is Rachel, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Oh my God.